Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. What's happening party people? I have a new tool in the tool shed. A battery tester. There it is. It tests 6 volt, 12 volt, and 24 volt. Input protection, reverse polarity protection, capacity, SOC, which is state of charge, and SOH, which is state of health testing. We're going to go ahead and give this thing a test. There will be a link in the description area for where you can get these. I'll put a link there. I will also be giving this one away to the first one that contacts me. Actually, I'm going to put this on my website for sale for one dollar so if you want it go there you can get this one for one dollar so let me go ahead and test a few of the batteries i have here one of these batteries in particular i left on the charger for a week it was like nine state of charge 14 state of health so we'll see if that battery turned out to be good after leaving on the charger for a week first battery we're going to be testing is 900 cold cranking amps as you can see, this was sold to someone December 2019. That's the brand there. I think that's from a popular store. This is the stats. Let's open up our tester and check it out. Last I checked, this battery tested good with one of my other testers. You hook up the positive here. Ah! Wiggle that thing around on there, get a good connection. Hook up the thing there. Get a good connection, and it says you got a 12 volt battery. Let's hit OK, see what happens next. 500 cold cranking amps, it's supposed to be 900, so we're going to crank this up to 900 cold cranking amps. Had to clean off my camera lens, I apologize for that. We're going to hit OK. It's testing the battery. It says we have 778 cold cranking amps. It says it's a good battery. See there? Let's go up and down. It's 75% state of health. 60% state of charge. So it could be charged a little more. I'm hitting up and down arrows. This is the resistance, 3.34, the lower the better. And this is the volts, 12.36. So this should easily start the car. So this is a good battery. Let's test another one. I would not purchase a battery from anyone used or from a salvage yard unless I had one of these to test it with. And man, I've only purchase batteries now from salvage yards and I use this to confirm whether they're good or bad and I have had great success so this is the next battery it's got 550 cold cranking amps now this one man it was way down I had to put it on the charger for a long time it's complaining about something let's back up here ah, I don't know what it's doing it's just flashing the whole thing I'm going to disconnect it, reconnect it, alright it's saying we have a 12 volt battery here, we hit OK, we're going to crank this up to 550, OK, it's testing it, 592 cold cranking amps. Man, this battery is in better shape than it was when it was in that car because that was down to like, sheesh, I don't even know if it was registering on cold cranking amps. It was like 120 or something. State of health, 100%. State of charge, 98%. Resistance is 4.38. Volts, 12.64. So we got a good battery. Now I'm gonna hook this up backwards 
and see what it says if I do a reverse polarity on it. I put the red on the negative. It don't even light up or nothing. It's just bad reverse polarity here. Nothing happens. Now let me go ahead and switch it up. Alright, it's back to working again. 12 volts. Cold cranking amps. We're testing. It's supposed to be 550. Last time it said 590. Let's see what it says this time. 593. Back to working. Just disconnected a couple times. Hooked it back up. Now the last time I tested this battery, it was bad. It said 33% state of health, 100% state of charge. So let's see what it says now. Man, that looks corroded. It says it's a 12 volt battery. Let's put the cold cranking amps 490. Man, why would I have a battery with a 490 cold cranking amps? See what it pops a test on. 58 cold cranking amps. One percent state of health, zero percent state of charge, and it's giving that a X poor, which means bad battery. 44 ohms of resistance. 11.94 volts. I'm going to put this on the charger and we'll see what it says 12 hours from now. We have this one on the charger. We'll come back and test it in 12 hours. So according to the instructions, whenever you hook up and that screen is flashing, it doesn't have a good connection. Just disconnect it and reconnect it. Uh, Sometimes it takes a couple times before it'll get a good reading. This battery's been on the charger for about 9 hours. So let's see if the charge rate on it's any better battery test right here all right i looked at this battery after it's being charged for nine hours i ran the tester over to 490 cold cranking amps we're going to test it it's only got 108 cold cranking amps 5% state of health 83% state of charge 24 on the resistance 12.5 volts so it says poor but it really should say bad if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post you can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.